The Registrar General, Jemima Wari, has emphasized the urgent need for companies and businesses that have not yet filed their annual returns to do so or risk having their names struck from the register. By the end of this month, this follows an ultimatum issued to over 500,000 firms directing them to file their returns or face removal from the company's register. Here's more. The Registrar General indicated that affected firms have been served with several notices and reminders through various public education programs and multiple publications for the past two years, adding that about a handful voluntarily requested the deletion of their names from the register. When we started the exercise, we had close to, I think, 10,000 companies, approximately 10,000 companies that had not filed any annual returns or financial statements. And so that's why we put out the first publication. We put out about 2,203 companies that we were intending to strike off gave them an opportunity for them to come and update us. Then we did a second publication, 1,563. We put out a third publication, 6,968, all coming to close to 10,734 companies that had not bothered to file returns. Since that, you know, all those notices and publications and interviews like I'm currently having, 482 voluntarily came forward and said that uh, we want you to take our names off the register. She therefore urged companies to take advantage of the grace period and file their annual returns before June 30. I have 8,895 that have not filed. And those are the companies that I'm giving between now up to the end of June to come and update us. If they don't, then from 1st July, will take their names off the register. When we take your name off the register, what that means is that you cannot carry on business in Ghana. You cannot continue to be holding bank accounts and carrying on business because we will put those names in the, in the papers, we'll put it on our website, we'll inform the bank,